Welcome back to Live with Elvis and Ali. I'm Ali. And I'm Elvis. Friends, we can't sing, we can't dance, and we can't act. But boy, can we talk. And speaking of talking, Elvis, can you speak any other languages? Mm -mm. Well, actually, Ali, yes, I can. I speak two Nigerian languages, Igbo and also Pidgin. I was born in Port Harcourt in Nigeria, which kind of explains my outfit here. And people there speak over 300 languages, and English is, just happens to be the official language. Uh, I also speak a little bit of Japanese, and I love anime, so that's why I learned that, and I just love the Japanese culture. That is so cool. Well, I grew up speaking French, so I speak that as easily as I speak English, but I'm trying to learn Norwegian. Hi, va heter du? Norwegian, why? Yes. God created all these people in the world, and they speak all sorts of different languages, and I just want to learn a few. Hey, maybe you could teach me something in Igbo. Ooh, that would be fun. Okay, say, Kedu Ihe Oza. Kedu Ihe Oza. That means, guess what's next? Oh, well, okay then. Kedu Ihe Oza. Friends, today on Where in the World is the Holy Spirit, we're talking about Bible translation. God knows all our languages. He speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. But the Bible is our number one source of information to know God's will for our lives. That's really important, Ali. I want to read the Bible in a language I spoke every day. Where is the Bible translation needed? That's just it, Elvis. It's not just in a few places or with a few people. There are thousands of languages to be translated and millions of people who need God's word. It's a big and important job that the Holy Spirit is doing. I cannot wait to hear about it, Ali. We have something for our friends to watch from our satellite feed, right? We sure do. Or in French, I'd say, bien sûr. Since Canada is a bilingual country, we can read almost anything in French and English, even our Bibles. But did you know that the Bible wasn't originally written in English or French? The Old Testament was written in Hebrew and the New Testament in Greek. This means that the Bible was translated for us. Translated means to change the words from one language into another. It sounds simple, but the process takes time and special training. Wycliffe Bible translators are gifted to contribute to this important work. There are 7,378 different languages in the world, and the Bible has been translated, at least in some part, into 3,495 of those languages. This means there are still many languages and millions of people who do not yet have God's Word written and available in their heart language. God's Word, the Bible, contains the good news of Jesus, and without it, the story of Jesus is way more difficult to share. So, the Holy Spirit calls people who love studying languages to help make translations possible. They partner with local churches, individual Christians, and also people who don't yet know Jesus, but are experts in their own language, so that the right words are chosen to communicate God's Word. When people can read about Jesus' birth in Bethlehem, His death on the cross, and that He rose again to life in their own language, their lives are changed. A UPIC pastor from Alaska said, when I read the Bible in our own language, the verses are blown up like with a magnifying glass. And people from Mamende, Brazil, wondered after hearing the story of Jesus, why their grandparents had never been told this important news. In the Philippines, a father was chosen to read the New Testament for a recording. When he finished, he said yes to Jesus and immediately told his daughter about Jesus too. God's word is precious and powerful because it's inspired by the Holy Spirit. How is God inspiring you to share his words with others? Can you memorize one verse this week and tell a friend about it? That's one way to do translation work too. And don't forget to pray for everyone who's working to make the Bible alive in every language of the world. Ajarakamburu, the Bible verses, naisim. What did you say? You're going to need to translate that for me. Oh, sorry. I said I need to memorize some Bible verses, probably in English, but maybe I should do both. They're all three, you never know. Ambitious. Well, you know what else is fun, Elvis? What, Ali? Getting to know kids who are new to Canada. It's hard when you can't speak the language and you need to practice talking. There's so much to learn, but it's fun if you're learning it with friends. Yeah, and that's another way our friends can allow the Holy Spirit to work through them. Isn't it, Ali? Because there's the message, God's Word, and then there's a messenger. All of us, we are all the Bible translators. That's right. And that's our show for today. Until we meet again, friends, let the Holy Spirit inspire you to pray and give and go.